we're going yeah, going live. Minutes. I think the battery will flash soon. So we're on. Yeah, public. You know, like if you know, I uh, did I. Yeah, so talking in front of people, talking in front of people. Actually, there was something I just just share my experience because uh, I did hypnotherapy. Uh, I was a hypnotherapist. I am a hypnotherapist. What am I saying? I'm a hypnotherapist. And and but I used to do more client. I was more into the client work before, not anymore so much. But um, and there was a lovely thing, an NLP thing, and it was like they looked at people who feel anxious in front of people and people. Their, their internal uh, reference, people who are, are anxious and people, just, just thinking about how to be anxious makes me anxious, but anyway, and people, so it was the thing of like, people who are usually quite confident, they feel connected to the audience, and then pe the people, and they looked at the mental strategies of people who felt anxious, it was like, everyone's just looking at me with big eyes and they're judging me, and they'd feel anxious, you know, and then you do this thing uh, where you just feel like you've got a, a connection to everyone in the room, like a heart connection to everyone, and then you start to relax. And then, and the people who are anxious were the ones thinking that everyone's judging them, looking at these big eyes, looking at them. So you just had to swap the mental strategies that you're connected, you know, from the heart to everyone. And then if you feel more natural, that's, that's a little thing from, nice. from my, from my, uh, just looking at the different mental representations people had who were anxious, and the people who just felt a connection from the heart to everyone. That's one thing. Um, the other thing is uh, from 12 steps, which is really, really helpful, is having an attitude of service and love. I'm not, I'm, it's not about me. So I'm here to be of love and service, to be a vessel, to be a channel of love. And forget me, like how can I be, and the one I like to do for myself is like, my job is to be of maximum, I think that's my camera off, was it? No, it's my, I think my camera's off. Yeah, it's still, still, still going. It's still going, okay. So to be... Oh, it, was my, it was my thing. Okay, okay good. Yeah, I've, got, I've lost my hearing. I don't, I don't get hearing anymore. So to be of love and service, being of love, and to be of maximum love and service. So I go, okay, it's not about me. It's about how can I be of service. So once you're there and the audience is there, it's not about you. It's like, how can, if there's a dialogue, it's how can I be, how can I serve? How can I serve this audience? So, the thing like I do, like when I do like 12 step chairs, is I try and get, I sometimes try and talk to people a little bit just to get where they're at. You know, if I sort of see, like if I'm giving a talk for a children's book, I want to know like where the children, if I can guess or if I speak to them before, guess where the audience is at, you know, then I can like deliver a, a service message. Like if someone says to me, you know, I'm having trouble because my kids are are unmanageable and I don't know what to do. I speak to them, I speak to them, and then I go, okay. So it's not about me, it's about, you know, how can I say something that's helpful to deliver. So that also takes away the fear. I think a part of it though really is just, uh, it's great experience. Look at it as a great thing because I remember when I was doing this group in the beginning, I had a lot of stuff coming up, you know, uh, ego stuff coming up. So I had to clear that stuff in me. And then as you do it each time, as you, as you speak, you st it starts to become, you start to get an opportunity to clear those things that come up when you're in front of a, a group of people. So it's a great opportunity to be able to speak to others. Um, okay, on a practical note, if you're feeling anxious just before uh, you go, you can feel the feelings out. During or at the event, you can practice being in the observer. Uh, and that will say, so what's, what's observing the anxious, anxiousness, what's observing thinking that people may be judging me, and then clear it that way. The other thing to do before an event is to, you, you can sort of, you can intuitively know what are the things that you're worried about and let them go. Like, uh, things I could be worried about is that, okay, everyone's going to hate me after I've spoken. You know, and they're going to all sort of like leave halfway through, or something like that. So it's good. So I clear that up. So I go. I think someone was saying it. Like, can you be all right even if people don't like what you say, or if people leave early? So you just work on. You know, uh, dear God, I place into your hands my fear of people not liking what I'm saying or leaving early. So I do that, and as you do that every day before the event, you'll start to feel like it doesn't matter. You're not, you know, it's like, I'm going to sit here and then everyone's not going to like what I've said. 
quite a few people are going to leave very, very quickly. But actually now I've been doing so much processing around it, it's not a big deal. So I can take it. And then usually once you let go of these charged situations, then it doesn't really matter. You know, if you're in the observer, it's like, it's like I used to have this one, like what if no one shows up? And then, so I had that, it's like, and then sometimes, you know, like, I think there was once in five years, no one showed up, once in five years. And there was, so it happened, you know, and they, actually someone came a bit later on. So I just thought, I thought it was like, no one's going to show up. And then you go through that, you go through that. And then it's like, oh, and then it's like, you know, actually I should, shouldn't say it. It's like, I, anyway, but you, you get, you, you get, you get, you get, you get, you get this. So you go through the, you go through the thing, and then you get another way of seeing the situations. Like the Holy, once you go through the fear a few times, the Holy Spirit goes, "It's all right." You know, you see it from a different frame. Yeah. You know, you see it from a different frame. It's like, oh, it's great. You know, like you're supposed to have a holiday off, or you're supposed to have some free time. You're supposed to learn some humility. You're supposed to, and you go through it, and you see it from a different angle, and it's not a big deal anymore. So you have to go through that. So that's been my experience so I think it's a I think speaking in front of others is a great thing there's things you learn there's things you learn as you go on each time and it's a great growth growth thing it's a great privilege I think uh, in the beginning it is from, it is it does bring up a lot of stuff um, I think the service or being in the observer and clearing stuff before you go to the event uh, try and surrender your worst fears before you go there or work on your worst fears. So for me, it was like, people won't like me, people will leave, no one will show up, uh, all of that. And it's like, okay, can you be all right? And then as you process that, well, no one shows up, can you be all right with no one showing up? Mm. Eventually you're all right with no one showing up. People don't like you. Okay, people don't like me and they live, left. And then you start to be all right with people not liking you. Um, you know, uh, there's other things you get, mm. but, um, you know, it's, uh, and then you sometimes, you know, after you get through your fears, you sometimes, you start to enjoy things, you know, it's, it's like, it's, it's great. And, and also knowing what to say. Um, knowing what to say is like a fear, knowing what to say. Mm, I know it's a fear, but uh, I start thinking about it, about what to say. I've had a little think about it, but. I think, yeah, in the early days, you know, when I used to give chairs until I used to think about, like, what am I going to say? I think that's, that's useful in the beginning, just to have, like, some, some pencil marks, like, I'm going to talk about this and that and the other. But then later on, after, and then after you've said your own story, like, it used to be my history in 12 steps, like, this happened to me when I was young and that happened to me and now I did the 12 steps and this, this happened to me. And then later on, you don't need to do that. But I think in the beginning it's useful. Nowadays, it's more like I'm trying to read the audience. It's, n it's like nothing to do with preparation. It's like, like, like I often say, I, I want to know where people are at and what the, what's going on with the audience. And I want to I be useful to what's going on. It's not about, so I want to like, it's like if I can get, it's like almost like trying to gauge or if I can sneak some research, like what's happening with you? Like if I'm coming with someone, like what's happening in your life? And I go, okay, so it's like relationships, or okay, no, it's about public speaking, all right, no, it's about money. Mm. And then I want to talk about money and my experience with money. Or, so it's not like me coming, nowadays it's not me coming with a prepared script. It's more like me trying to see, trying to tune in, and then trying to, trying to serve. And I feel happy, you know, if I'm, I feel like I'm talking. I mean, you can't always talk to everyone at the same time, but you get a feel. Is that helpful? Very And uh, something, um, yeah, in your first talks. And um, yeah, being, getting out of self and doing, and releasing any charge before you go there, and releasing uh, any fears before you go there. Hawkins did actually something in Letting Go, didn't he? He, he talked about, um, uh, he talked about, I think it was something like acceptance, you know, like he was like, he was a very boring speaker. I don't know, maybe people would fall asleep or something because he'd be so monotonous when re reading his stuff. And then he thought, well, he just accepted. I think he accepted he's a monotonous reader. And then he just said at the beginning, I'm sorry you're going to have to go through this. It's going to be very, very boring. And then people laughed. And then he realized he could crack some jokes about being very boring. <laughs> so, so, you know, just admit, like, admit, like, this is going to be the most boring thing. You're probably never ever going to come back to this place ever again. And, <laughs> 
And it's then, also you release the charge. Really, you release the well. charge. And can I ask about releasing the charge? What? Oh yes, releasing the charge is the thing I do. Um, so there's three tools. You've got a low battery as well. You've got a low battery. Okay, very quickly. And if it goes off, it's okay. Thank you for saying that. So feeling the feelings, doing the observer, and doing the Course in Miracles. So feeling the feelings, like if I'm feeling fear, sitting with the feelings, not labeling it. Uh, if I can sit with the feelings for half an hour every day and just dissolve that fear, I know I'll tune into a high vibration on the day of the talk because I'm releasing my residual fear of speaking in front of people. So that's one of the big ones. Um, the next one um, would be uh, identifying what's my worst outcomes. What's the worst thing that can happen? You know, okay, like Hawkins would say, like, oh, people won't like me. And then what's going to happen if people don't like me? Then uh, everyone's going to walk out. What's going to happen if everyone... Then everyone... And I won't have any more friends and I'll die. Okay, so that's pretty bad, you know, it's, it's terrifying to, to do this because no one's going to like me and it's going to have a reputation of being boring. So, so then I have to surrender the outcomes. Can I, like, let go? Can I be at peace? You know, dear God, I place into your hands uh, my fear that uh, people will find me boring and I won't have any friends and then I'll die. So I keep doing that and I'm releasing on the, my biggest fears around that and I'm slowly dissolving that. And so that when I show up, you know, I've done some work and I, I might even get to peace with acceptance that, uh, you, know, you know, no one's going to like it and then I'll die or something like that. So you, you're letting go of the outcomes. Uh, so that's one of the things, or I cancel my belief or, in, you know, pray for a miracle to see, uh, to see my fear of uh, people not liking me differently. The last one is the observer. Uh, practicing the observer, so, okay, I'm th uh, you know, I've got to give a talk next week, okay, what's observing my fear, what's observing my thoughts, in the observer of my fear and my thoughts, is the observer uh, fearful or in thoughts, and keep going to the observer, it'll start to wash out that fear and that negative thinking, so you get more into a place of a detachment around that, so all of those things were dissolved, and doing that pre-work just from my background, um, uh, the other thing that I do, if I'm feeling anxious about speaking in front of people or some people are going to judge me, is I pray for them before, you know, uh, or I can pray for some alignment prayers, like, dear God, I pray to be of service to the highest good with this group of individuals I'm speaking to. Dear God, um, I pray for freedom from my own thinking. Help me to be a channel of your peace with this talk. Um, also, um, uh, you know, uh, praying for guidance. Dear God, help me guide my right thoughts, right actions and right words along this event so that I can be of service to this group of people. So also what I like to do if I'm feeling fear around a group of people is to pray for them before. Like if I'm going for an interview, I'd probably pray for the... I'd try and find the name of the guy and pray for him. Pray for his happiness, his well-being. I pray for the audience's happiness and well-being. I pray. So all of those things I would do just to get the, a realignment of my energy in terms of that.